week-long salute to subpar drive through food, allegedly. I don't know. Can Taco Bell, like, sue me for just disparaging all their food? They can have at it, literally. I mean, pan the camera around. They can have it all. Um, grilled cheese burrito. We'll see if this is as awe-inspiring as the quesarito, uh, the previous video. So this one here, we got, well, multiple wrapping paper, so that suggests this thing is a has something else uh, to it. Um, cheese on the outside. Does that sound right? Mm -hmm. So they roll it in cheese and grill it with the cheese on the outside of the burrito. So basically they, they make a quesarito. They make a double wrap burrito or a quesarito. So if we're... Cheese on top and then they grill it. So if I cut this open, there's just going to be a little bit of chicken, rice, sour cream, just like last time. It's going to be beef and some Fritos. Oh, so they have... All right, well, let's see what they actually put in here. Uh, we'll do the unwrap. So, yep, they do. It's just a double wrap burrito. Like, no, this one doesn't have the quesadilla in there. Look at that. That's just a single wrap there. So one tortilla. Uh, we have one Frito. <laughs> we have one Frito, parts of another, a little bit of, look at that. I mean, I don't know. What is that, a teaspoon of beef? Come, Taco Bell, do better. I mean, come on. A ton of filler here. No wonder America's fat and lazy eating this stuff. I mean, it's amazing drive through food when you have the munchies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're in Colorado buzzing through a, a bowl, you, yeah, no wonder this stuff seems amazing. Fritos and rice and, all right. I don't think there's rice in there. Yeah, there is. Is there? Yep, that's rice. Oh, yeah, right. So they got the same... It's the same exact thing except a little less flour tortilla. They throw some red corn chips in there, some sour cream, uh, and then they somehow just grill cheese to the outside of this. Um, less complicated than the quesarito, uh, except for the cheese on the outside. So we will, uh, just like the other videos, we'll get set up and then we'll do our version of the uh, grilled cheese burrito. We've got everything set up. Uh, there's a lot of stuff on here. We're doing a lot of Taco Bell cooking today. The recipe we are on is the grilled cheese burrito. Um, less complicated than the quesarito in concept. Uh, we have not tried grilling the cheese to the outside yet. Either epic fail, uh, editing, Herculean editing efforts uh, or something. Uh, amazing. Now we have ground beef uh, already cooking in here. Uh, if you want to see uh, the rice, let me talk about rice. We had that in our last video on Taco Bell. We have our fajita lime rice back here. Uh, we are going to be, uh, instead of using the fajita seasoning that I talked about in the quesarito, we actually have a homemade taco sauce. Now again, to show there's no ill will with Taco Bell, yeah, we poke some fun. You can just simply get a packet for 50 cents at Walmart taco seasoning. Many companies make this taco seasoning. You want to make it yourself? You want to play around with some uh, artesian uh, level of taco seasoning? You can make your own. Here, we did make our own. This is, and I'll put the recipe in the description. So this is uh, minced onion, salt, chili powder, paprika, garlic powder, cumin, oregano, and flour. So we are using our own here. We have about uh, eight ounces of meat we have in here, and we like to use roughly uh, a tablespoon. But again, what you're eyeballing here is, you want it to be seasoned, but not uh, overly seasoned. And I do that a lot of times visually, uh, and just making sure that the meat is coated, but not um, like all the way, I guess coated, but not painted. I don't know, that doesn't even make sense, but you, what you don't want is it to look like a red uh, sloppy joe. You still want to see the color of the beef. That way you know you got some seasoning, but it's not overpowering. Uh, so we think that looks good. So we cut the heat. And this was some leftover. We do a lot of this taco stuff when we have leftovers. We're making chili. We had leftover uh, beef. Uh, we're making steak sandwiches, and this is actually ground up uh, ribeye and um, uh, cube meat 
Uh, so the, the meat quality there is pretty high. So Taco Bell can't touch the meat quality there. Uh, and again, with six ounces, I think we figured that's at least 50 to 100 burritos worth of beef on a drive through at Taco Bell. When do I stop taking shots at Taco Bell? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, the beef is seasoned. Uh, again, homemade taco seasoning, your own taco seasoning, doesn't matter. Now, we are going to start building. I'm going to be switching out pans because we're doing the grilled cheese uh, in a different pan. So we're going to set that over there. We are going to set this here. And we're going to get this uh, cranking up. Now, we think we can sprinkle... This is Colby Jack cheese into the bottom. And it's going to start cooking and almost get a... It's going to get a pliable consistency is what we're shooting for. We'll see if it works. Uh, we don't actually... We don't actually know. So, cheese into the pan. And um, I don't know that it needs to be a ton of cheese uh, because it's going to melt and kind of give you that blanket. So, as that... As that starts to melt, we will get the burrito out and we'll start building uh, our uh, burrito. Now... I mentioned in the other video, if you want to have a little bit better time rolling these up, um, you want to heat it uh, ahead of time. So we are going to take a little bit of the cheese sauce and spread it uh, on the bottom. And I, <laughs> I sling this cheese sauce everywhere. It takes us a half an hour between videos to clean up because I got just the simple act of transporting cheese. See? Gal, how do I edit that out? I mean, it's just... Cheese will not ever stay on my spoon. It's just, uh, it's so bad. And then rice, uh, we will go. I thought I grabbed a spoon for, I did. Here's a spoon for rice. Okay. And we'll get that spread around. Beef. Okay. Then we do corn chips on the grilled cheese burrito. I think we found three corn chips in the, so we'll actually do, you know, like a small handful there and then sour cream and we'll be ready to roll. As we can see here, we're getting that blanket of cheese, but we will get this rolled up and we'll see if we can actually roll it. And I try to talk over that noise. I'll turn it upside down. We don't need those. Every teenager on the planet's laughing uh, at those noises. So nacho cheese, rice, beef, uh, Fritos, sour cream. And I think if I'm checking my notes, that's everything that is in a grilled cheese burrito. So we will roll it. Okay. We think we have it tucked there pretty good. Into the blanket of cheese, we will go. And we'll kind of press it down a bit. We will turn this up just a little bit. And I'm going to get a metal spatula to see if that will give us a hand. And it might take a minute or two. I don't know the timing. Like I said, I haven't done this before. How long do you think I should let it sit in the cheese? Until the cheese can pull off. I mean, I think this is going to work better than I thought it was going to. Part of the problem is we might be using real cheese and who knows what they're using. Oh, I'd leave it sit a little bit longer. A little bit. It's close. It's sticking to the burrito. It's adhering nicely. I like when I get an extra hand from the grip, from the cameraman. Grip's probably above your pay grade. <laughs> All right. Yep. Oh, absolutely crushed it. Are you kidding me? Get out. How did I not start a taco franchise? Because it probably takes like 12 minutes for me to do one. 
and they got some weird science experiment that's cranking these out in no time flat. So a uh, rough time, I suppose that was uh, two minutes, two, three minutes on there on that grilled cheese side. So that looks good. And let's get that out. Man, that is money. Let's do one more real quick. That was so much fun. Uh, we have hungry people here, so we get the cheese spread on, but then I got to build fast, right? Because now this pan is warmer. So let's turn this down. Yeah, let me cut this. You want to, well, you can get the full, you can get the camera shot and then I'll cut it open for you too. Cleaver cut. Oh, that's crispy too. My goodness, we hit money here. All right, so I'll crank out the second one here. Cheese. And sour cream. Still makes the noise. Doesn't matter how hard you try. All right, let's get that. Now we'll get that pulled back, then we can roll it in. All right. Chipotle, the Chipotle CEO is watching this going, I know who not to hire to roll my burritos. All right, into the cheese. A little bit of a press. Turn up the heat a bit now. And uh, it goes pretty quick. Let's taste test while we're waiting for the second one to be done. All right. You take that one. It's got a little extra cheese there for you. This not only looks way better. I'm stunned at how well it turned out. All right, here we go. Wow. That's money. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's awesome. We'll give this other one a flip. Look at that, the cheese rolls right with it. Mm -hmm. It crisps up, so we just give it a minute. Mm. About a minute on the other side. Look, we mock a little bit the Taco Bell but not out of concept. I think we're proving out their concept is right. This is a good combination of food, um, and we're just having some fun uh, at Taco Bell's expense. But I would say Dude Foodie 2, Taco Bell Zero, I'm routing them now. This will be a technical mismatch here. But absolutely awesome. Way easier to make than I thought it would. That cheese rolled actually quite easily. Thanks for hanging out. We're having a blast making Taco Bell discontinue items. We have two more in the series coming up. We have the Nachos Bel Grande and then the seven layer beefy burrito. God bless.